Hello, boys and girls. My name is Larry, and today we will study Brain Bank Science Book Number 18. The title of this book is Tunnels. Tunnels. Now, a tunnel is a passage. In Korean, you can say tongro, tongro, and tunnels go through many different things. Mountains, maybe they go through the road, maybe they go under the earth, maybe they go under buildings. We're going to learn a lot of different kinds of tunnels. Look at this picture. Is this a mountain? Hmm, maybe it's the side of a mountain. If we did not build a tunnel, we would have to drive all the way around. That could be very difficult. We can drive our car through this tunnel. Let's learn more about tunnels. We're going to learn about tunnels for traveling. That was like the picture you just saw. Driving or walking someplace, we often have to go through a tunnel. Service tunnels. These are tunnels built for some kind of specific purpose, not traveling. Tunnels for safety. Sometimes we build tunnels to protect people or animals. Planning tunnels. Hmm, where should we build it? How big should it be? Should it be long or short? Should it be high or should it be shallow? This is planning. And then, how do we build it? What equipment do we use? And then we can test two tunnels and review some very important vocabulary in the glossary. Are you ready? Let's get started. Look at these tunnels. We have a tunnel here. What is going through the tunnel? A car. Now, this is a hill. So the tunnel goes through the hill. If there was no tunnel, we would have to drive over the hill. Here we have a train tunnel. The train is coming through the tunnel. We can see the train tracks there. This is a very special kind of tunnel. Where is this? In the mountains? No. This tunnel is under the water. And you can see many different kinds of fish. So we have three very different kinds of tunnels used for different things. Tunnels go under the ground, right here. They go through the mountains. Could be this picture and this picture. They go under water too, in this picture here. If there was no tunnel, these people would be swimming in the water. Now we will learn about tunnels for travel. Travel. Moving from one place to another place. One place to another. In this first picture, we can see a boat. B O A T. Boat. This tunnel is for traveling by 
boat. You can see the water here. Do you know what this is? Is this a car? No. Is this a train? Okay, it's a kind of train. This is a subway. S U B W A Y. Subway. We build tunnels so the subway can go through them, just like in your city. How about this one? How are people traveling here? Hmm. Are they on a boat? No. Are they in a subway? No. Are they in a car? Yes, they are traveling by car. How many tunnels can you count? One, two, three. There are three tunnels. How many tunnels can you count on the entire page? One, two, three, four, five. Put on your reading glasses and let's read about these tunnels. Tunnels carry cars and trains. Cars and trains. This is a special kind of train called a subway train. They carry boats too in this picture. They make travel easier. Easier. It is easier to go through the tunnel than over the mountain. That's why we build tunnels, to make it easier to travel. The next time you travel, look for some tunnels. Let's continue with our story. These tunnels are called service tunnels. One, two, three. We do not use these tunnels for travel. You will not see any cars or boats or trains in these tunnels. We can use these tunnels for work. W O R K. Work tunnels or service tunnels. Let's read about these tunnels. Tunnels carry water to cities. Which tunnel is carrying water? A, B, or C? Hmm. C. You can see the water here. This brings water to the city and also away from the cities. Tunnels carry power cables. Power cables. This one's a little bit difficult. A or B. Power cables are usually very big. Which one do you think? A or B? This one. These are big power cables. They bring electricity to your home. They, meaning tunnels, carry telephone cables too. Telephone cables. In this one here. There's many different wires that you can see in this picture. These tunnels are called service tunnels. They are providing some kind of service to us. Or we can call them also work tunnels. This tunnel here do you see this picture? Is this a service tunnel? Hmm. Let's look at the picture more closely. I can see a car. Are there cars in these pictures? No. Do you remember what kind of tunnel this is? Very good. This is called a travel tunnel. These are called service tunnels. 
We finished part one of our book. We've learned about travel tunnels and service tunnels. I'll see you again very shortly for part two.